I want to talk about Facebook and <laughs> when I get on Facebook I post things about God and stuff like that even with that I don't really like to be on Facebook because I don't know the words to say about it. For instance, when a person has a problem, when you get on Facebook, it feeds in more to that problem that you have. Let's say that you have this lust issue. When you get on Facebook, it feeds more into your lust because Chances are, if you are a man, you are looking at other women, not to minister to them about God and stuff like that. You are looking at other women for ungodly reasons. And the same thing for women. If you are a vain person, believing that you are in really good shape or you are really pretty or you really think you are in good shape or pretty, posting countless... If you are a vain person, when you get on Facebook, it makes you even more vain. If you have a lust issue, when you get on Facebook, you are going to struggle with lust much more. Like I said, I know that there are people who get on there and they post things about God. Now, if you are, if you mainly get on Facebook for that reason, that is one thing. But I see people post things about God, but post things, but post carnal things as well. Things not based upon the Bible. Say things that in some way or form, it goes against the Bible. It's like you are placing your own opinion in something where Let me say this. Most people really should not be on Facebook. Myself, I don't like getting on Facebook and I don't really get on Facebook much. Sometimes if someone wants to call me or something like that, I may get on it. Or if I have to message a person about something, I may get on it. But to be totally honest, I don't like getting on Facebook because it brings the worst out of a person. So whatever is in you, it brings it to the forefront. I know this woman that I used to speak to, she would always tell me that she needs to get off of Facebook because it was feeding in to a problem that she has. And she would tell me that she is going to turn off her Facebook or disable her Facebook and then she comes right back to it then she keeps saying the same thing over and over again, but continues to come back to it. It feeds in to your vanity, to your lust, to any issue that you have when you get on Facebook, it amplifies your issue. So my opinion And I have spoke to other people about this too. 
and they know that Facebook is not any good for them, but they are hooked to it like some type of drug or something like that. That is an issue. Perhaps part of your problem, one of your many problems, may be Facebook. So what you should do, you should disable your Facebook. Like I said, myself, I post just about everything that I have on my Facebook. It is pretty much all about God. And even with that, I don't know how to say it, but when I get on Facebook, I'm like, no, like, I don't like this. I'm like, ugh. What I see on there, I'm telling you, <laughs> and some people may know what I am trying to say. There is a certain type of spirit on Facebook that controls it. If that makes any sense to you, I'm telling you, I am telling you, there is some type of spirit to Facebook. And whatever your issue is, it feeds into it. So if you are prone to get angry, it is going to make you more angry. I'm telling you, whatever your issue is, it is going to bring it out more. So stay, like I said, some people like this one person that I have as a friend on there, like he posts things about God all day long, which is good. But when I get on there, Especially when I look at things that people post, especially people who claim to have God, it is really, really shocking. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.